welcome to e-padasala today we will discuss the topic psychology of color first we will see the introduction in the appeal of color is universal one of our greatest enjoyment in life is our ability to use it aesthetically it is almost impossible to imagine our world without color color removes the monotony of life and enhances the beauty of objects we can develop color sense through observing and analyzing colored objects we observe the color of air and earth as a whole for example in a landscape we observe the colors of plants and flowers as a whole in their harmonizing surroundings each of us be it be a small child an adult or an elderly love to see color we develop a sense of appreciating color right from childhood color does play a great role from the beginning of our life color leaves an impression of our expression on others in this module we discuss the psychology effects use and application effects of light upon color and effects of light upon color psychological effect of color the psychology value of color is very important aspect of the impact of work of art the sensation which we experience while seeing form and color is a psycho psychological creative process the eye receives energy information which is sent to the cerebral cortex as nerve impulse here the translation of information from the material world appears suddenly this translation comprises our world of visual experience which is overpowering three dimensional and colorful to a professional color consultant the psychological conscious and subconscious reactions to color balance for objects and space from the color available it is evident that use of colors can create sudden changes in our environment so the choice of color not only reflects our personality and taste but also creates an emotional feeling about our home listed below are the psychological properties of the some commonly used colors first is yellow this is the color of sun and artificial light has an effect of cheerfulness gaiety optimism sympathy warm and crispness then red red is the color of fire and blood it is the expressive of heat stimulation activity richness splendor and dignity power movement aggression boldness and love then orange orange is associated with life and most vivid it expresses energy spirit hope courage and cordiality blue it is the color of clear skies and deep water and so is associated with coolness it expresses distance soothing to the nervous depressing truth calmness reserve formality and lack of sympathy green green is the color of grass leaves and naturally suggest rest cool refreshment symbolically rebirth and suggestive of hope brown it is the most useful of all colors it has traditionally associated with ideas of humility tranquility and gentleness violet violet is associated with heroism and passion mystery dignity reflection and calm it has the soothing influence then pink pink slightly stimulating could be used in mosses in bedroom and nursery then it is white white is the psychological feeling of clarity luxury delicacy feminine peace honesty reliability and trust black black suggests mystery wisdom solidity and sophistication then gray it is produced by mixing of black and white so it may be warm or cool it expresses the feeling of gentle or maturity and experience so next we will discuss about the color uses and applications color coordination is magical for uses and application of color one can create any atmosphere or mood by studying and understanding the principles of color harmony these principles have been studied intently by philosophers scientists and artists from this were developed several formalized color scheme including the related color and contrasting color harmonies so the color harmonies are divided into mechanical and non mechanical mechanical color scheme is then subdivided into related color harmony and contrast color harmony related color harmonies are then divided into monochromatic analogous and neutral then contrast color harmonies are subdivided into complementary double complementary split complementary and triad the next is non mechanical color scheme it is subdivided into ready made color scheme and natural based natural based is subdivided into landscapes based 
natural object based first we will see about the nature based color scheme nature provides wonderful ideas and these can be utilized successfully to make a variety of color schemes and harmonies we can divide nature based color scheme into two categories as landscape based and nature object based landscape based color schemes if we observe the color of sea sky clouds mountains land covered with plants and trees and earth or barren land we find that they do not have sharp color and are large in areas the sky occupying the largest area is light blue water in the sea river canal also has the reflection of the same light blue mountain are generally covered with either snow or light brown trees and plants covered with green leaves earth is of dull brown or orchard color and trees are green but with all these one will find a fantastic variety of flowers fruits birds insects reptiles animals fish etc in bright color combinations though see these are small in size then nature object based color schemes nature has created various creatures with variegated color schemes observe a butterfly or a fish or a flower this will give you a cue to your color scheme a yeah, butterfly might give you a color scheme of lemon golden yellow brown black and white or a flower might lead to a color scheme of lilac and white accentuated with violet and green a yeah, fanta might decide a color scheme of black and white and with accent provided by brown or a rose will give two distinct color red and green while find green covering larger areas are leaves and stems and red is seen in smaller flowers the yellow pollens and some dry brown twigs provide accents and backgrounds respectively then we will discuss about the mechanical based color schemes so mechanical based color scheme included um, harmonies of related color and harmonies of contrasting colors first we will discuss the harmonies of related colors there are based on either a single hue or a series of analogous hues and promote harmony and unity <coughs> according to this criterion the following are the related color scheme that is monochromatic analogous neutral color schemes first is monochromatic color scheme monochromatic means of one color under this scheme only one hue it and its different values and intensities are used the popular scheme of peach brown and orange is truly monochromatic scheme an example is red can be used with its various intensities giving vermilion caramel crimson etc and various values in high key giving ops red peach plus tint indian red brown etc monochromatic color scheme can easily and successfully used in for large rooms the color scheme is the simplest and easiest use for any beginner in interior decoration then analogous color scheme analogous color scheme is one that combine colors that are adjacent to one another in the color wheel in this color scheme colors situated next to each other on the color wheel of prank color system are used it generally uses one color as its major force with the two neighboring colors as secondary force example yellow with yellow green and green or blue with blue green and blue purple analogous color scheme is much more interesting than a monochromatic color scheme then neutral color scheme the neutrals are black white and gray but in interiors we peach off white and the high values of each hue are also considered as neutrals as they do not represent any single color they all can safely be used in neutral color schemes the neutral color such as brown with an accent color for breaking the monotony can be used in this color scheme color schemes built entirely around neutrals are very restful but texture and pattern must be used to prevent the design from becoming dull boring or monotonous therefore this color scheme should be used in limited areas or for limited periods in any room the neutral schemes became popular because of its adaptability to both traditional and contemporary style black and white schemes are highly dramatic because of their strong contrast for example a scheme could be developed with more than 2/3 of area with white and less than 1/3 with black such a color scheme should be always be used with caution and in limited areas then we will say about the contrasting color scheme under the contrasting color scheme first we will discuss the complementary color scheme 
it is based on two colors found opposite to each other in the color wheel these colors need not necessarily be used in their pure and they can be used in many values or intensities to have variety a complementary color scheme can be developed from a monochromatic color scheme actuated with the complementary color or an even balance of two colors the complementary colors are yellow and purple red and green blue and orange yellow green and red purple blue green and red orange blue purple and yellow orange thus in all they make six complementary color schemes a complementary color scheme is a stimulating vivid and bright color scheme it provides a combination of both warm and a cool color thereby result in a balanced combinations then double complementary color this color scheme is somewhat similar to a complementary color scheme the only difference being of the colors used two in a complementary and four in a double complementary if a narrow x is superimposed on the color wheel then there will be two sets of complementary colors with which to work two adjacent colors and their complements when used together form double complementary harmonies like the combination of purple and red purple with yellow and yellow green the color scheme is exciting lively and sophisticated besides it also provides more variety than a simple complementary color scheme since this color scheme provides a combination of both warm and cool colors that can be successfully used in any room size whether big or small they provide a good background in a nursery or a child's room they are also ideal for use in common rooms like living or a lounge some of the examples of the double complementary color schemes are yellow and yellow orange with purple and blue purple yellow orange and orange with blue and blue purple orange and red orange with blue and blue green red and red purple with green and yellow green then third one is split complementary in this color scheme one color is combined with the two colors on each side of its complements one might select a hue and combine it with the colors that are on either side of its complement as though placing a narrow angled y on the color wheel this provide three colors to work an odd number of colors combined together always yield a good effect as a color scheme in a room by varying their intensities and values some interesting combinations can be worked out for example if orange is chosen the split complements used are blue green and blue violet and these colors in varying values and different textures would provide variety in their use similarity the following combinations also be worked out to prepare split complementary color schemes yellow with blue purple and red purple yellow green with purple and red green with red purple and red orange blue green with red and orange then final one is triads an equilateral triangle placed on the prankler wheel will point to three equidistant colors that form the triad turning the triangle will point out different combinations in the prankler chart there is a primary triad when the three primary colors fall at the tips of the triangle red blue and yellow and the secondary triad green orange and purple there are two intermediate triads yellow orange blue green and red purple and other is yellow green blue purple and red orange triads are the richest of all color harmonies if well used but there are the ones which need most careful treatment in indian stones such combinations might be suitable for the play room or a nursery room because these are closing colors the combination becomes the one that is often found in elegant rooms procedure for making a color scheme for your room the general procedure for preparing a color scheme is as follows first one is consider the color scheme for the adjoining rooms decide on the background color procure samples of fabrics wallpapers and paints select a color scheme from a fabric wallpaper or picture plan the color proportions large medium or small areas plan the values of color choose and cues light and dark plan the variations in intensities of the choose and use bright or gray draw floor plan locating the furnitures as areas to be colored draw wall plans locating areas for draperies and furnitures on the plans write color names and paint the colors collect the necessary materials 
execute the plan uses and application of colors for different rooms first is entrance hall the entrance hall often has much the same type of coloring as the living room although in larger houses it is frequently more impersonal and dignified in color than the living room in an apartment or small house where an entrance hall is only the passage way it should be decidedly decorative and colorful <clears throat> since your hall has very little furniture interest should be provided by colorful treatment of floors or walls then living room a yeah, living room should express cheer and hospitality along with restfulness and relaxation therefore its color scheme needs to be cheerful but not over stimulating and characterful but not obstructive fairly light warm colors are usually the most desirable for living rooms except in tropical home or summer homes where a simple color scheme such as white walls and a blue ceiling and floors is refreshing in a living room it is desirable to keep the color interest and contrast on the general level of the occupants and the furnishings and not on the floors walls or ceilings then dining room in a formal home in naturally in the same character as the house so its color scheme is conservative and dignified color such as lattice green srim pink butter yellow lemon yellow watermelon rose or tomato red have refreshing and delicious implications the addition of white is desirable particularly if the white is used on the table kitchen the kitchen color scheme should be <coughs> cheerful light and bright cool colors are thought to counteract the heat of cooking the color of the sink range and refrigerator which should all be alike must be the basis for the color scheme when these three articles are white or pale gray they are most easily fitted into the room design bedroom a bedroom color scheme is usually more personal than any other its dominant colors might well be the favorite color of the occupant a master bedroom used by both husband and wife should contain color express of both a man's room or the boy's room should be masculine with the rich characterful colors possibly combined with natural wood a woman's room or girl's room should be bright and feminine and harmonious with their own coloring a pretty colorful room helps to develop girls personality children's room are often finished with colored decorations placed at the children's eye level bathroom bathroom walls and pictures should usually be white for hygienic and as well as aesthetic reason in general colored pictures have proved to be tiresome however one bright clear positive color is needed in a bathroom it should be used on the floor or on the upper wall on the ceiling and in towels mats curtains and shower curtains bathrooms are often decorated in colors that suggestive water like green blue violet or gray Games room. Color scheme should be bold and vigorous. The whole effect should be amusing with colorful background, supplying interest since furniture is scarce. The wall might be painted in a warm, bright, solid color such as coral or lemon yellow, or two walls might be painted in stripes, checks, or plates. Mural painting suggestive a circus, a ship, or a garden might be effective. in planning the color for your whole house it is better to begin by sketching each room separate sheets can be prepared for each room and a rough sketch of its shape window placements and furniture arrangements can help to provide the base for filling them with suitable colors using pencils or crayons once this is done for every room they can be spread on the floor in sequence a close analysis will give the an idea about the strength and mistakes in the scheme the sketch can then be redone to remove the mistakes the next we will see about the effect of light upon color light is an important element in determining the beauty and comfort of the home the basic function of the lighting arrangement is to illuminate the form and space of an interior environment it allows its user to undertake and perform various activities in a comfortable and efficient manner thus good lighting design is a factor to determine not only its aesthetic aspect but also its functional efficiency similar to color and lighting walls and ceilings in a room contribute in designing the interiors they provide a major aesthetic background on which the additional factors for decoration can be placed 
Besides providing safety and insulation against climatic changes and dampness, they proved to be status symbols on account of the elaborate decorations on the walls and ceilings of the house. In the absence of light, there is darkness and therefore no color is made visible. The color and light are closely related. Incandescent lighting has a yellowish tint whereas the fluorescent tube generally impart a bluish cast. Both the intents of artificial light and its source, whether incandescent or fluorescent, tend to distort colors. When one needs to select some color, one should try it under natural light as well as in home lighting conditions since most shops use bright commercial fluorescent lighting as a rule. Considering architectural features, light is incredibly important when choosing color for the room and one should consider with which direction the room faces and whether it has a receiving lot of sunlight. Natural light colors varies according to both the quality and type of natural light and the same color can often appear quite different from two room. Determining the direction of the room will help to understand what level of natural light it receives. First is north facing room. North facing rooms can be challenging to decorate as light from the north is cooler and harsher. These rooms receive sunlight throughout the most of the day so avoid using bold and cool colors. South facing rooms receiving very little natural sunlight throughout the day so may appear cooler. Using colors with the warmer feel like red, yellow and orange with a mix of incandescent lighting to bring out the warm tones. South facing rooms are joy to decorate. East facing rooms. It receives sunlight in the morning and will appear cooler as the day wears on. Think about using incandescent lighting to create a warm atmosphere in the evening. Then west facing rooms. It seems to cooler in the mornings but will receive sunlight as the day wears on. White will really enhance both natural and artificial light in west facing rooms. Depending on the level of natural light, a room receives, need to consider the color and lighting scheme according to the mood would like to set. The most important thing we need to understand is that black, dark colors absorb the light and the white and light colors reflect it. If a room receives a little natural light, can use lighter color to try and reflect what little is gets. Then next is effects of color upon color. The colors lying opposite to each other in the color chart are called complementary or contrasting colors. Complementary colors are yellow versus purple, red versus green and orange versus blue. Sometimes the effect of one color upon another is so strong that in the eye of the observer non-existent hues will appear. After gazing at the color for about half of minute, a new color called after image may be produced. The after image is complement of the original hue and can change the appearance of one is looking at it. This is because of the fact that when the sensitive nerves of the eye which permit us to see color become tired of looking too long at a hue, the nerves register the color less vividly. The original color becomes duller and an impression remains in the eye of its complementary color. Similarly, if one looks fixedly at the spot of bright orange color for about half a minute and then looks at white surface, a bluish green spot will appear on the white surface. So, now we will see the conclusion. Color is one of the most fascinating tools to work with in decorating. It can do wonders if used with imaginations. Color is often the decorative favorite element probably because it is important in establish, establishing the mood and the personality of the home. Color brings an atmosphere into our homes through a few conscious choice of few fashionable color accent. So color is the most significant in decorating interiors as it removes the monotony of life and enhances the beauty of the house.